high school hopefuls. Yes, hold your mama hands up. I'll walk up with y'all. Maybe y'all sit in the middle. Come on, boy. <laughs> no, let me walk no, up like this. Crying. You can walk up like what? Stop. Okay. Please don't start crying. You want to be FBI agent? No, they're going to work for the president. What you doing? You're going to be the president. You're going to work for the president. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, Before making their big announcement, Aaron and Andrew hit up the barbershop. Gotta look fresh for those ESPN cameras, cause don't nobody wanna look bad on TV, especially when the whole world is watching. Well, some coaches just told us what they thought we wanted to hear. Like, we're just gonna come there, they're gonna give us the ball, we're just gonna play 40 minutes a game, but that's not really what we want to hear. We want to hear, it was, 
it was going to be a challenge, and we wanted a coach that could challenge us. We want to become better players. We don't want to get the most shots up a game, but we want to win. And that's the thing I love most about basketball is winning. So I just want to go somewhere I can win and be coached. Being a father and a positive role model for him and things like that, we just I just try to uh, make sure that they have the opportunity to impact their own lives. They're very mature kids. I the only problem that I've, I have with Aaron Andrews is that you don't keep their room clean. And with that, I can live. What was that like when you found out your wife was having twins? Wow, it was kind of scary. Every man, when you get ready to have kids, you think, am I sufficient? Do I have enough? Am I established enough? Can I take care of my family? As, God, as every man I've ever talked to, that's the first initial shock that you had. And then basically how I figured out, she showed me a sonogram and says, what's that? I said, that's the baby? And I said, what's that? She said, I said, is that the afterbirth? She said, no, that's the baby. I said, I thought you said that was the baby. She said, yeah. Then she walked off from me and I come and said, it's too baby. And that was how we figured it out. The support for Aaron and Andrew is at an all time high and it has been that way for years. But before they grew into the 6'5 frames, became two of the best players in the country, they were just young kids. Kids who loved football, but their passion for basketball grew tremendously. Before the mixtapes, the interviews, the internet rankings, being named McDonald's All-Americans, going to Elite 24s, their inner circle has been with them from the very beginning. And it is still intact to this day. You know what? Kind of emotions you had when you realized you were having twins. Mm -hmm. oh, hey. what, um, what was I that called like? my mom crying and said, No, I can't. Two babies at once. And then after the shock wore off, I was excited. So I was, it was a long, hard pregnancy. I couldn't work. Like after my third <laughs> month, I was in bed a lot. But I was glad when it was all over and they were here. I've always heard about you that you don't even really care about basketball. Like well, that. you know what? I really don't. If they came Woo! to me and say, Mom, we don't want to play basketball anymore, then I would be okay with it. Um, but because it's what they want to do, because I want them to get a college degree. Um, you know, I talked to them about having a backup plan. You need your college education. So, you know, please keep that first. Uh, it's just, it's, it's great. You know, they put in a lot of hard work and uh, that's what people really don't don't see it's hours and hours of the hard work that they put in and uh, it's, um, I'm really glad to see that it's come to this and you know they're really excited for this day and uh, it's, it's just a blessing for them and, and they're very humble kids and, and I'm just excited for them really happy to, to be a part of it because you know I've been been with this since the third grade man and you know through the years going on you you see a lot of out of these kids these days man and it's it's, it's nice, man. It's nice to get them at this moment right here. They worked so hard through so many years of playing. Oh, man, it's, a, it's amazing. Well, you know, I just think it's great for Houston basketball because this is what I've always wanted to see Houston basketball. But, you know, we haven't had two kids that have been at this level. And that, uh, I think we've got other kids that can be at this level. So I hope a lot of our young kids are encouraged to come out and see what this feels like because this is the potential we have in Houston. But they saw the vision and wherever it ends up that this is a great day for not only the Harrison, but a great day for Houston basketball. They've played with pros ever since they were in the eighth grade. They're the only guys that have been in our camp uh, with our staff that's been allowed to play with the pros on a continuum basis. They've been pros since the eighth grade. Hopefully they are program changers, both of them, and then somebody that gets them that. Not only are they quality kids, they've been raised well. The parents have done a great job and that their support system is in place. So, you know, they, normally there comes issues with a lot of talent. They don't come with a lot of baggage or a lot of issues. They have each other who they support and they do really, really well. If they say your name, talk back to them because they should be able to hear you. This is it. The moment has arrived. Aaron and Andrew appear to be a little uneasy, a little nervous. <laughs> Man, I, I would be too, especially knowing this is going to be aired live on national TV for everybody to see. Backstage, behind the scenes, it's a lot of laughter, hugs, smiles, and photo taking. Having the family and friends around seems to put the twins at ease. Yeah, awesome.
Um, you don't need to like lean in to talk to any of them because they're going to hear you through those mics. Okay. okay. So then um, the two mics that say USB and U are going to hook up to the PA system. So don't try and speak into that either because you'll look hunched over on TV. Right. That won't look cool. All right. All right. It is time for the moment we've been waiting for. We now welcome in Aaron and Andrew Harrison live from Travis High School in Richmond, Texas. Andrew is the number one point guard. He's on the right. And while Aaron is the number one shooting guard in the SPN 100, he is on the left. Uh, guys, as twin brothers, and then Andrew, I'll start with you. You guys have shared the spotlight all your lives. Birthdays, holidays, everything in between. Why did you guys want to stay together in college? <laughs> we never thought about uh, leaving each other in college. We always knew we were going to play together. Ever since we knew we loved playing basketball, we just knew we were going to go to college together and play. Aaron, what about you? Same question. Why did you get, want to go to college with your brother? Um, it's definitely the same answer. I mean, we've been playing together our whole lives, and we've been successful so far, so might as well keep doing the same thing we've been doing. All right, it is time for the most important part of this discussion. Aaron and Andrew Harrison, tell us, where will you be attending college? Um, for the next four years, we'll be attending um, the University of Kentucky. The Harrison twins are going to Kentucky, Dave. That will automatically vault Kentucky into the number one recruiting position in line for the top overall class again. technology each year that somebody commits the technology gets more advanced this is great for those kids this is not one commitment this is two at the same time like the song says and that's the thing that makes it so great because of the fact that you this is program changing this is dynasty type stuff and these kids here the people that know and they know them you can tell by the magnitude of how welcome they are among their peers by looking around the room and seeing how many of their peers stayed after school to come and support them today. They had over 200 students in the, in the gym today. They had a counter up front. 
200 students came and support these guys. That lets you know it can't be that, it can't be that bad of kids. So we know they're great. Everybody always say, oh, he's a great kid. This shows you, you can tell how great they are. And after this, the decision was made over 20 minutes ago, and you still have about 100 kids still in here supporting them. That's how good of kids they are. That's, those type of qualities and traits is what take people go through a life and you realize that's gonna take them all the way through life because they will receive. So they let you know, they haven't went Hollywood on their own boys. You know, they still must be, because if they would have been snobbish or, you know, something like that, these kids would have been gone. They'd have been like, oh, they, I mean, so these kids feel like they going to Kentucky. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm just telling you, so that's the thing that's good about it. So, I, I, I mean, I, I love it. We're going to remember this day for a long time coming. It's a great day in Houston basketball, not just Houston, but the whole entire state of Texas, man. And that's the thing about it, and we love it. Hey, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else right now besides the Texas. The ball is bouncing in Texas right now. Yeah, I was, I was a little nervous. I didn't think I was going to be nervous at all, but I was a little nervous. But it's cool now. I'm excited. I'm just happy. And once I become disappointed about from the other schools, I, mean, I wish I could go to more than one school, but I can't. But I just have to make the, uh, the good decisions. I'm just happy. I'm just honored when somebody asks me they want to take pictures with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something different. I, I mean, uh, pretty much half the school was behind us and about five, six cameras. I mean, it was nerve-wracking, but I mean, we knew where we wanted to go. We tried to be as confident as we can. It, it was cool. I mean, um, yeah. It's the, I mean, Coach, you know, everybody knows Coach Calipari is a great coach. He, he gets players better, and that's what we want to do. It's an amazing thing. I mean, every it's like it's like a little kid dreaming, and you and you and you grow up, and you and you, uh, you reach your dream. It's the best feeling in the world. I'm Andrew Harrison. Uh, just came in Kentucky. Uh, shout out High School Hopes. I want to shout out to High School Hopes for. Uh, uh, following me and, and just just being there, watching me behind the scenes, and uh, thanks for everything. The Rockets next. The Rockets are next. <laughs> We're gonna get them back home. Congratulations. <laughs> Rockets next. Good job, man. Good job.